to hear, make a pledge, I will be respectful. Focused and engaged, making me successful. Playing it safe is up to me. Following the rules is my responsibility. Today I make a pledge, I will be respectful. Focused and engaged, making me successful. Playing it safe is up to me. Good morning, Cougars. I'm Brendan Berry. I'm Emil Rontree, and today is Monday, April 15, 2024. Our thought for today comes from Marvel's Batgirl. Everything doesn't have to be about fear. There's room in our line of work for hope, too. For lunch today, you will have a choice of old time pizza or steamed dumplings with fried rice, sweet corn, green beans, and assorted fruits. Mandatory report card pickup. Night is tonight. We hope you are ready to show off your parents with everything you've done this quarter. Come on out. There will be a student-led conferences for grades 3 through 8. You can pick up your report card and get some good snacks. The award ceremony for third nine weeks will be held on Wednesday, April 17th. We can't wait to celebrate your many accomplishments. There will be home games against Bath this afternoon. Game starts at 4, and admission is $5. Our teams will travel to Chaco Wendy on Wednesday, April 17th. Go Cougars! We'll have our last round of NC check-ins tomorrow and Wednesday. Be prepared, rest, and be prepared with rest and break. What's, What's up, up brother? brother? Check, check. It's time for Word of the League, brothers. Word of the League this week is irony. I R O N Y. The definition of the word is using words to mean the opposite of what you're really thinking to be funny or sarcastic. To use this word in a sentence, you might say. Getting his car stolen from the police parking lot was his final irony of his day. I don't get it. Irony is tricky. We are going to break it down. Wait, we're going to break it all down for you this week. In our example sentence, the irony is that his car was in the police parking lot when it got stolen. You would think that it would be the safest place for your car to be. I'm glad you helped with that. The situation is kind of funny. Well, it's certainly ironic. Look for this word in your readers and use it in your writing and conversation. See you later, brothers. Now please stand for a moment of silence. Remain standing as we are led in the Pledge of Allegiance by the third grade classes of Miss Jordan and Miss Smith. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Come with me and you'll see world of pure imagination. Thank, Thank you, Cougars. Do your best and let your cougar roar.